everyone. I'm here in a region called Huasteca, Mexico, where I am here now at an eco park called Selva Tenec that I wanted to tell you a little bit about because it's actually also a rescue and sanctuary for animals that are local to this region. There are no other sanctuaries in this area, including anything government funding. So this place is completely self-funded and needs your help to raise a bit of money. You can come visit. They have beautiful cabanas here or you can get a glamping tent and or just eat at the restaurant or take some of their tours because most of the money goes towards helping the animals here and a little bit about the animals here they are either found injured orphaned or taken away from people who try to keep them as pets and these are like big cats like the ones behind me so we all know not to keep those as pets um, they definitely need your help though they have a jaguar here they have ocelots they have a puma they have a bunch of coaties and the way that they are able to even eat get medicated and get nutrients is if you come here here, stay here, support them, or you can simply help by donating some money to them. Please check out the GoFundMe that I helped to start for them and come check out all the cute animals here at Selva Tanek. This is one of the animals that someone found and brought here for rehabilitation. I'm not sure what he is yet. Might be an ocelot. Likes to eat hair <laughs> and play with toys. Oh, cutie. They also get a lot of anteaters brought in. Um, usually when people find them and they're injured or their homes have been destroyed due to farming. This one is very friendly, as you can see. He's giving me all the kisses and trying to find ants in my ear. Now we're doing a tour through the entire nature park. There are some cages in different areas with different animals in them. Uh, Selva Tanek. Um, there are in cages because they need to be treated, medicated, things like that. The ones that can be released back into the wild. Most of the animals cannot be released back into the wild because a lot of them have been hand reared by humans like this jaguar that was a pet and it got too big obviously you can't keep it anymore so it needs uh, medical attention and they don't have actual wildlife vets so to bring them in. Same thing with this puma it was a pet grew attacked the owner and was given away to the sanctuary it needs medical attention as well. They just found this baby deer they rehabilitated it with what they can they're self-funded so it's not much and hopefully it'll grow up to be like this loving deer that was brought in it was injured as well this is a coati or badger is kept as a pet and lost an eye and has a lot of bad damage to it this bobcat has a broken tooth it can no longer hunt for itself so it lives at the sanctuary and this ocelot was a pet and it seems like it was abused because it refuses to come out of this cage it's very scared um, does not like humans at all. So right now we're doing a fundraiser for them to build a new clinic on site to help the animals. Please support the GoFundMe page for them to help these animals out.